Dial Drunk is one of Noah Kahan's newest songs and by the end of this lesson, for you it should be sounding like this. Now I love this new song because you can clearly tell the style of Noah Kahan coming out as he has in many other songs using that down, down, up, down, up strumming pattern with some really simple chords with some nice little variations as well. So I'm sure that you're going to love learning this one. So let's get into the chords. Now we've got our capo on the first fret today, so everything I'm teaching you will be relative to that. Now our first chord is going to be a C major with a variation. to C over G. So we've got our G on the sixth string and then a regular C major. So you can hear the difference there. If I play a regular C major compared to, it makes it a lot more full in the bass. Okay, so that's our C over G. Make sure you've got that down first and then we'll go on to a G major, just a regular G. So third fret, second fret, open, 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 third fret. And then we've got a D major from the fourth to the first string. Open fourth, second, third, second. And then we've got an E minor. Okay, so that's all six strings there. Open on everything except the fifth and fourth string there, that's second fret. All right, so C over G. G, D major, and then an E minor. So those are your four chords, it's that simple, and now we can get straight into the verse. Okay, so we've got a C over G to start off with, and our strumming pattern throughout the whole song, or pretty much the whole song, is going to be down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so I'll count that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. So that up, down, up part will be one and two and three, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay? So you might want to play along with me. You can just mute your strings and try along there. And then we can add a C major onto it as the start of our verse. And it's going to be. And then we're going to do that same thing again. And then a G. And then onto an E minor. And then E minor again. Okay, so slowly. All right, and then we can do that a bit faster. to speed if you can you might want to go back and try that again if you're struggling with the speed a bit but it will be one two three four the verse hopefully you're following along still and we're going to play that chord progression through four times so we'll go c g e minor e minor four times and then that will take us on to a chorus but before we get into the chorus if you're enjoying learning these songs with easy chords whether the easy chords are new to you or you're very familiar with them i've got heaps more songs like this one with easy chords for you that you can check out in this resource that I've linked below in the description or you can see up there now. So go check that one out if you want to learn plenty more songs with easy chords. Otherwise, this is going to be the chorus. We're going to start on our C over G again. Same pattern. G again. And here's where we're going to add in our D major. And then our E minor. So it'll be C over G, G 
D E minor Okay, let's go a little bit faster again. One, two, three, four. Now, if you're finding that a little bit too easy, there's something that Noah Kahan does in a few of these versions that's really nice, where he uh, pulls off and hammers on on the E minor, okay? So it'll sound a bit like this. So you can hear maybe just that slight or if I just isolate that string so okay so that's where we're going to change our strumming pattern as well so what I'm doing there is I'm keeping my middle finger there on the E minor second fret of the fifth and pulling off the second fret of the fourth and then adding it back on so so there open and then, and then, okay, so. And our strumming pattern is not going to be our regular down, down, up, down, up. It's going to be. So I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down. So doing that very slowly, it'll be one, two, three, four. And even slower, one, two, three, four. Okay, so down, down, up, down, up, down. So let's try that again slowly. One, two, this is the whole thing. One, two, three, four. D. to our C over G again. So you can hear that's a nice little addition. And we're actually gonna play that chord progression through four times for the chorus, but we're only gonna do that funky E minor on the first and third time. Okay, so let's try it just twice through. We'll play the first two times of the chorus so we can get our head around it. One, two, three, four. that same thing again to finish off the chorus. Now at the end of that chorus we're going to go onto a C major which is going to start our interlude which would just be for two bars. It's a little bit stripped back so not as intense with the strumming but the same strumming pattern on a C major. And that will take us straight back into a verse. So from the end of the chorus it'll be... to our verse. Alright, so you've already learned that verse, then we'll go back into another chorus, and after that chorus, we're going to go on to the little solo part, which is actually just the same chords as the chorus, so it'll be... This time we're only playing it through once with that chord progression. That will take us straight into the bridge. So that solo is kind of an interlude into the bridge and the bridge is just exactly the same as the chorus but a little bit more relaxed. It's not as full on with the strumming, okay? So... So you don't need to strum as hard there because we're not looking for as much volume. It's a little bit more relaxed there. And that'll take us into an outro, which again has the same chords as the chorus, but for the last chord progression, we're just going to do single down strums, okay? So it'll be the whole thing. single 
single down strum. So I made a mistake there at the start of the fourth time. It should just be a two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then an E minor, two, three, four. And that's how you finish the song. So don't forget that free resource with many other songs, and I'll see you next time.